What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? How is everybody doing today? Let's get rid of that. Let's hop on in and get this started. So, um, with the new update, the 1.6 update, there was a bunch of quality of life stuff for Joja. So, we're going to do a Joja playthrough on this one. What's up there, Panda Bear? How you doing? So, uh, let's go ahead and hop in and get started. I deleted that save I started the other day. So, we're starting fresh, fresh. Uh, on a Meadowlands farm, which is the new farm. Now you see here, the deal here, you get the chewy blue grass. This this farm is set up, you know, for animals, but the blue grass you can use on any farm. You get it out at Key's Place out on Ginger Island, and it basically is double effectiveness. So you gain affection twice as fast for your uh, for your farm animals. I'm debating on... Um, Firing up the Stardew soundtrack, though, and muting the in-game volume, since it's not constant. Let's see. Let's do that. Get a little soothing sounds of Stardew Valley here. So, we are going to go... Um, skin 2, hair 4, shirt 2. Is, uh... Every time I do that. Actually, you know, we can go with the skin with the sideburns, maybe. Or is that an accessory? Normally go skin two. Or it is an accessory. There it is. Is that the is that the sideburn guy? That's earrings. Glasses. What? I've never really scrolled through the accessories enough. Go with the shades. <laughs> that is so dumb. All right. Uh, uh, name is Juice. The farm name will go Capitalist. My favorite thing. Hmm. Let's see. What's up, Martin? How you doing? Favorite thing. Fat booty. There, we'll go with that. Animal preference. We'll go with a uh, little blitz. We're going to skip the intro, and we are doing the Meadowlands farm, which is the new farm here. So this one, you don't start with any crops. You start off with two chickens. Now, of course, you start off with some cash so you can go buy crops, but well, let's do it. Let's get this rolling. All right. So yeah, like you said, it starts, you start off with hay. Harvest an egg. So yeah, the like the goals are completely different. But for this playthrough, I don't care too much about the uh move the TV over here where it's a little closer to getting out of bed. Since we're doing Joja, I'm not overly concerned. So here's our little chicken coop area. So we do have to start off loving on the chickens. It's not really a ton of uh, grass to start with, I don't think. I don't feel like. But let's get a little uh, crop area started here. be able to get a chest down as soon as possible and then we'll spend our 500 on uh, whatever uh, 
Ah, uh, starting a new farm. It's been so long. Oh, I forgot to turn the music off. Let's turn the music off in-game. That way I can use the soundtrack. <laughs> What's up, Flitigan? This is the new one, uh, SciTech, the the animal farm, the Meadowlands. Yeah, the blue grass one. And uh, like I said, the deal with the blue grass is it's double animal efficiency. So you get twice as many, as many hearts. All right, well, that's enough for starters, because I'm not going to have anywhere near, uh, I'm going to find where the water source is. Assuming it's still right down here. Hmm, the water is not where it would normally be. How far down is it, I wonder? Gotta have Bob. We gave him some shades this time instead of the sideburns. Oh, wow, the cave is down here, too. There's the blue grass. I don't want to harvest that prior to getting a silo down. But there is uh, the water source. That's kind of really out of the way. I think this one might benefit from a well. Unless there's water close by over here somewhere. Let's see. the top left as well that might be quicker to get to it let's see oh okay that's way quicker so we'll just cut through the cut through the chicken coop when it comes to getting water so these chickens got the blue grass going right here like i said i don't want to harvest that stuff uh prior to to um to get in a silo down. But let's run over to the store and grab some seeds and get uh, something growing anyway. Of course, the watering, you know, that's the problem with building a well. If you build, put a well in, it's basically only for aesthetics because, you know, it's not gonna be too long, we'll be using sprinklers. What up, dude? You really gonna just block me like that? They should put that pass through with the NPCs as well, like they did for the animals. We could start working on old Abigail early. Yeah, Abigail's gonna be spending some quality time out on the farm. Let's see, we got parsnips. Um, I mean, what do we want to do? It's let's just go. Let's go potatoes. Screw it. Can't get very many. Only 10. But that'll also mean not as much watering time, too. I don't care about um, the community center on this one. Since I'm going uh, full on capitalist mode, we're taking the Jojo route. I want to see how much it, like, I don't know if it's flat, the perfection pur purchases that you can make over on Ginger Island, if it's a flat amount. Man, that is not very many potatoes, huh? Holy crap. Yeah, anyway, if it's a flat amount, then it's going to be 50 million uh, to get perfection because it was 500,000 for the first point. But it may scale up as you go. All right, what do we need for a chest? Just 50 wood, which we've got. Get our first chest down here. And um, I guess let's just... Uh, do I want to cruise around? Let's see where the exits are and stuff. Well, I mean, the exit's right here. We can go around and look for some forageables, I guess. But this farm is going to take a bunch of clearing, I believe. Is 
drop some stuff here that we were not uh we're able to pick up anything we see yeah this farm is going to be like heavy duty clearing right out of the gates What's going on, Meg? How you doing, man? Well, I mean, you start... Oh, weird. 270 energy? Is that normal? Where do you normally start at? I mean, I, I'm assuming it's there. But that's just... Such an odd... Uh, like, such an odd starting amount. It seems like a lot, though. If for some reason, I thought you started at like a hundred normal. Maybe I'm. It's been so long since I started a fresh playthrough. I don't even really remember, to be honest. Yoink everything we can, and um, then just we'll blow off. Uh, well, we'll eat whatever we can too, to be able to. Um, Get a little more energy flowing for uh for clearing let's see what's good down here graveyard keeper was super fun game yeah i played all the way through all of their dlcs definitely a fun one and how much is this one again is it 300 yeah 300 Look at this. We're getting stuff for the museum already. All right, let's just head on back. We'll eat what I can. Probably not much. Nothing for a daffodil. All we get is we've got one leak. I guess we'll we'll check the lower area. Hey girl, what you doing? Oh yeah. Get them spring onions. Just go ahead and eat uh eat the leek to make room for the spring onions. Oops. Guess we can eat the horseradish too. Got some new ideas to sleep on. What is that? Hmm, that's kind of weird. One a new one of the new pop-ups or whatever. All right, now that's going to be enough energy to get some stuff done. So I guess we'll get back and just get to clearing. Let's see where it pops us up when we go into the... Or when we go into the south area of the farm here. I haven't looked at, although I did pop in at the end of last stream and just kind of run over and look at the chickens and the bluegrass. I have not run all the way around the farm and I haven't uh, looked at like the Stardew Planner or anything. So I'm completely clueless at the moment of exactly how I want to have it laid out. All right, we better get back. That way we got time to burn everything off. I keep seeing stuff, though. Why won't not... Oh, there's wood there. That's why it won't let me pick that up. 
The last thing I want to do is trash wood. Oh, damn, a gold star already? Oh, it's all about the happy little trees in their necks. All about the happy little trees. All right, so... Where's it going to bring us up? Okay, just pretty much a straight shot up. It looks like there's there's not a whole lot of farm uh, farmable space. Keep that for Gunther. So let's go after some wood here and try to get another chest down. And then that's also raising our foraging. Uh, doing good, man. I've been looking forward to getting this uh, playthrough started. I'm gonna, since they added so much uh, for capitalists in the game, we're doing the whole capitalist playthrough, but I'm still gonna try to achieve uh, the 100% perfection. And uh, we'll have to do it through capitalism, so I'm just gonna have to grow a ton. We all know that chickens don't make much money, so I mean, it starts you off with some chickens. Uh, they'll probably eventually go away uh, to make room for pigs. Can't go. Oh, there's a rock there. Well, that, and it's the one of the things that, you know, like a lot of people play Stardew Valley for a lot of different reasons, you know? One of the things I have always joined or really enjoyed in Stardew is finding ways to really maximize your farm output. So for me, that's just the funnest thing. So this will work out uh, perfectly for the type of playthrough I want to do. I mean, that's 78. Let's just keep working uh, trees here until I've got no... Uh, I'm going to need to get some light here before long, too. Or start going to bed earlier. One of the two. Uh, is that a new thing? Those butterflies? For some reason, I kind of feel like that's a new thing. I don't remember that. Let's see. Let's make, um... Well, let's dump some stuff. Actually, we don't want to dump any of that, huh? What we can do is... Dump that and that. And get, uh, another chest made. This will be for, uh... Gunther or whatever. Let's see. Let's turn this one green the museum one will make it uh we'll make that one white i guess and that's gonna be museum stuff i can actually get one more chest let's just do it never hurts to have the storage you know all right and i got a little bit of food for tomorrow um i did see the big one i mean we already knew he didn't give any new information I mean, you know, Payman told us two weeks ago that we were going to be getting big news next week. So, I mean, that's... Augie's trying to keep the hype going, which is very understandable. But that was no new info. The only new info he gave us is about copying all the assets into Unreal 5. And I think that is uh, going to get mixed. Mixed things. All right, what do we got? I guess it doesn't even matter. I can't go fishing yet. Or can I? Full stop on my backpack is full. Yep, I can go fishing now. All right, all right. You. Let's not go digging up our freshly planted taters.
All right. Chickens still in. The chickens are already out. Shit. I just cleared that blue grass I did not want to clear. Try to make traveling around in this area a little bit smoother, though. We'll go down and deal with Willie here in just a moment. Need to not eat into the blue. Gr oh, I did it again. So yeah, anyway, the blue grass gives you double efficiency. So like the chickens will grow up faster. I didn't hear what they did dirty. I wasn't interested in playing it um, just because I got so many things to play right now. What'd they do? Did not realize there was a, a dirty, a dirty involved. Screw it. All right, we got it clear at least. I'm not gonna get this one, or am I? I can get it with a pickaxe. Then it won't hit the. I'm sure I'd probably like Dragon's Dogma. Oh, wow. They made fast travel a paid DLC? Ooh. That's going to rub some people wrong. You, you just can't do that. I mean, come on, right? Fast travel as a paid DLC. Big oofs. Uh, the mining chest, I always like to do that dark gray. Yeah, man, that's harsh. All right, do we want more seeds? I've only got 160. That's not that much more. I think we just go fishing. Brand new, too. It's, I mean, it just launched yesterday. It's already packed full of DLC. Crazy. Yo, Willie, what you got in your pipe? You just call me son and not juice? Well, I mean, that might be, that might have been a typo that was in prep for the future. Like, I mean, if they're willing to charge you for fast travel, maybe there will be a paid DLC that's multiplayer later. Flanagan with the sub, thank you so much. All kinds of fish, Willie says. If it smells, it sells. That is oh so true, Willie. Oh so true. <laughs> Terrible. Willie got a dirty mind. Or do I have a dirty mind? It's one of us. Got to be one of us. And it takes so long to fish when you first get it unlocked. And have zero skill level and not a fancy uh, fishing pole and everything. And the little fishing bar is so small.
the lovely, lovely seaweed. Hmm. Do we want to do the old throw a chest uh, down here? Part of me wants to just focus on clearing, but realizing that this is the uh, capitalist playthrough, you know, fishing is where it's at on day two. To be honest with you, 50 mil is not overly challenging to get. I mean, it'll take some work, but if it only costs 50 mil to get perfection, that's not going to be too bad. it's so slow at the start I mean you go up so fast though like my fishing skill will probably be level leveled up one notch tomorrow you know I gotta check out and see what more, what else is farmable terrain too, though. In fact, maybe I should take this fish money and go buy some more seeds. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, go up, fish, go up. So I'm just awful fishing with this uh, beginner fishing rod. There we go. I mean, it's, you know, if it takes you so long to reel the fish in, it's not even worth going after the chest. Because you could have caught three fish in the same amount of time, you know. What do we got? We got bait and some seeds. We'll just trash the seeds. I mean, let's actually just do that. Let's grab, uh, let's sell those. That's 400. And then we'll go buy some more seeds. Well, I mean, fishing is progressing, though, is the thing. Oh, uh, they're dumb. Fishing, you could, you can actually go through the entire game just fishing. So, there's nothing, nothing wrong with fishing, man. That and Stardew fishing is just glorious. All right, what's he got? What do we want to do? Parsnips are only four days, of course. That would actually line up with the potatoes. So why don't we do uh, some parsnips? Because the potatoes are six days. And then I'm going to lose a day because I'm planting them so late. Fishing simulator free on Epic? Yeah, but most of those fishing simulator games suck. I haven't played that one, so I can't say for that one, but so many of them are just so bad. Let's see. How do we want to do it? One, we got 20, right?
God dang it. And I just ripped one out of the ground. Because I wasn't on my watering can. Son of a bitch. 20 gold down. All right. We don't need the bait right now. Let's just get a little bit more clearing done and then uh, start working on that 300 wood, too. Starting to feel exhausted. Oh, I hate it when that happens. That Call of the Wild, the Angler, that's the one that's free right now, I think, right? That game is so bad. It's so disappointing. I was so excited about that one because Call of the Wild, the hunting game, is really good. In the fishing game, they basically took the hunting game through a lake in the middle of the maps and called it a fishing game. I don't know. I, I, there was not enough, particularly early game with progression. It was more like arcade style fishing and not enough, um, too much random exploration. It's like, it's a fishing game. You know, it's not a go explore the world game. It's a go fishing game, you know, wants to go fishing. I'll throw this one down right here just to fill that slot. So yeah, I don't know. It's that one was a big bummer to me. It's why it only came out a year ago, and it's already free on Epic. And it's a big budget game. It's not like it was a cheap indie game that didn't, you know. It was a high end game. Definitely going to want to get the inventory expanded. But I got to be careful with the spending because the JoJo, you got to start right off with cash, you know? Let's eat the rest of these spring onions. Actually, I don't have a ton of time left. So the goal, of course, is to save up enough money to get strawberry seeds during the egg festival. All the onion snacks. Now nah, we'll move, we'll step it up to something uh, a little healthier by the time uh, by the time Abigail moves in. I won't be uh, screaming the onion breath. <laughs> Once Abigail's here, we will have stepped it up. So there's a happiness modifier, too, on your animals for if you shut their door at night. So, like, if you come over and shut the door, which I never did before, I always left it open. Well, the onions are fine, but you just got to grill them. You can't be just eating the onions right out of the ground and then expect uh, to be winning over the winning over the ladies, you know, just just not going to work out like that.
Sith Phil. 49 months. Damn, dude. Thank you so much. And then I learned just through the new system. 13. Hmm. Guess we won't. I won't risk it. I learned through the new system that you actually don't get any XP for like getting the one single log on the ground. It's got to be a tree. All right, let's just nap it out. We're going to need 300 wood. Pretty awesome getting a rain day this early. So the chickens are not going to want to come out in the rain. Oh, we got eggs already. Holy shit. They're full grown already. Oh my god, that's the blue grass. It's this blue grass is doing that. It's like I said, it's double double effectiveness. I'm not sure how much the eggs sell for, but I think we're just gonna just gonna sell them. We'll try to go for the free uh let's see, strap that in there. Um, so we'll just throw that in there for now, too. Let's go catch some, uh, fish. And I don't remember. I thought on a rain day in the spring, maybe you're supposed to fish at the mountain? But let's just yoink everything we can on the way. In fact, let's go around the top route. That way I can just drop this stuff off right here. But well, definitely want to get that fishing skill leveled up. And I'm not going to do any major spending until, um, until the... Uh, egg festival. That way I can get as many strawberry seeds as I can. Maybe it's not the mountain. Maybe it's the river on a rain day. I don't remember. <clears throat> but I know that the mountain is good. Uh, good profitable fishing. Well, thanks there, Josh. Appreciate it. If we can actually hook anything. Good Lord, man. Shit. I'm always overshooting the chest with this little tiny bar. Needs to get my fishing skill up and get a better fishing rod, too. I'm assuming that whole you've got some new ideas to sleep on means I leveled up. I think that's what that means. It's actually, it's all kind of fake complication there, Josh. You use the same things for everything. So although it appears like there's a whole lot of depth and things to figure out, there really isn't. It's like once you learn the basic metas, you're good for the entire game. I mean, super fun. It's more a game of collecting than an actual strategy game, though. Collecting all the things. Just eat that right now. Well, there's the same thing there. I mean, it's just the grind. You know? 10 out of 10 mods, you get them by grinding maps. Get 286 reroll tokens, you're guaranteed a 10 out of 10. I just wish the fishing wasn't so slow. 
just feels so slow at the start. All right, we're actually full up already. Let's trash this. Um, I take breaks all the time and play different stuff, so I'll never really get bored of it. The second something starts getting boring, play something else. And then if you have a craving to go back to that game, then you will. If not, then don't, you know? Gotta be fun or it's not worth it. No game is worth playing if you're not enjoying it. So uh, the best thing for a grind game is take breaks and play other stuff. And then realistically, you'll never get tired of it. Assuming that you want to keep going back to it. Pull up again. Just eat the horseradish. I'm going to end up uh, just having inventory issues until I get my bag expanded. What I need to do tomorrow is drop everything off in a chest. That way I've got the full inventory bar to work with. We're full again already. I could eat the fish, but I mean, my energy bar is near full. I guess let's just go back. Uh, we'll do more clearing. Get into that 300. Um, I mean, it's only noon. I could walk around too. There's no reason for me to just jump right to clearing right away. In fact, there's enough time to drop stuff off and go back. Well, let's do that. Let's drop everything off. Um, except the fishing rod. And should have a pretty decent take here today. Uh, from all the fishing. I think since we're going to focus on the cash, we'll end up going pigs everywhere. So that coop, I'll probably end up actually getting rid of. for subscribing there, Aiden. I do appreciate it. Creepier frog, what's up? I was just asking about you uh, not too long ago. Hopefully things are going well. Uh, healthy, healthy babies and all that good business. Come on, fishes. I probably won't even have enough time to fill my inventory now, but it's all good.
Start back up again once you move. There's a bunch of games you'd probably like. That Coral Island game is one you would like. Uh, Stardew, of course, is just an incredibly good game. It just had the update. Um, there's that... Uh, yeah, the Stardew update dropped a few days ago. So this is 1.6 here. One of the things they added in was you can buy um, perfection now. So for, it's for Joja players uh, to be able to still achieve 100% perfection. River jelly. Some of the stuff we need to keep, like the jellies we need to keep. Look, that's a buff too. 30 max energy. I didn't realize that was a buff. It's not as big. I was, you know, I was hoping that it was going to be more like one star to 1.5 with the island update and everything. And there was a bunch of um, theory crafting that there was going to be a new island, a new prairie island. And none of that yeah. happened. So, I mean, it's still good. There's some awesome stuff added and, uh, you know, the new farm type and all that stuff. But I was kind of hoping for... I was really hoping for that new island, you know, because Ginger Island just brought so, so, so much to the game. Yeah, see, it's already 4.30. I'm not going to have time to fill my bar. It was tea. Well, it wasn't even teased. It was theory crafted by the community that there was going to be a prairie island. And it was based off of the soundtracks, which, I mean, so it was reaching pretty bad anyway. The, one of the Stardew songs actually has lyrics, even though the lyrics don't play in the game. And if you look at the lyrics to the song, they talk about Ginger Island and Prairie Island. And this was before Ginger Island released. So people assumed, since Ginger Island was talked about in those lyrics, that Prairie Island would also be a thing. And then the raccoon image was... There was a raccoon image that was teased. And that made people think that um, the raccoons were going to be like the monkeys from Prairie Island. What's going on, Tree? But none of it ended up coming true. I mean, not yet, anyway. You never know. I mean, there might uh, there might end up being more down the road. This update originally was all about modding. It was to make more tools for modders to be able to make more mods for the game. And then these all the other stuff that got added were kind of expanded on from what they were originally planning. kind of need another box. I don't want to get started on train wrecked inventory right out of the gates. So this one is going to be fishing related. We'll make it light blue. And yeah, we'll throw that in there. And throw that back. And then let's burn off the energy here real quick. I mean, the game is just an incredibly good game. The music is nice. That's one of the super impressive things about this game is like the soundtrack and everything. They were all, everything in the game was done by one person. Now, after the game had its initial success, of course, uh, he was able to get help with things. But as far as the base game, everything was done by one person. Let's see, let me turn that down a little too. I feel like the tree chopping is pretty loud right now. Wrapped is a good game. You need to get Sophisticates to play that one with you. Because that game is, is it's super fun as it is and it's just way more fun even when you're playing with a friend or somebody else, you know.
we got the announcement that PoE2 is getting bumped back, the beta for it. So we won't be playing PoE2 this summer, like um, many had hoped, myself included. He's got all the games he's playing. I, he wouldn't really like Raft. Uh, PoE2 is Path of Exile 2. Um, well, the EV is direct counter, so most people always say get the EV first. But then, like, the Countess is incre incredibly powerful, the Dryads get really strong. I mean, going through Onslaught is no different than going through the, the regular game. It's the same stuff. Path of Exile can be incredibly fun, but it's not for everybody. I mean, the people that love it, absolutely love it, you know? But not everybody loves it. What are we up to? We're up to 150 now. We need 300. Let's just go ahead and nap it out. I better grab my watering can back. I don't need the hoe right now, so we'll just leave that in there. Plus one fishing. And foraging. Very nice. Alright, so eggs are actually not bad. 50 gold a pop. Um, just the starter eggs. So that's not terrible. But 1,000 gold. We're going to be rolling in the dough here in no time. The thing with this game is it's probably the most relaxing game or one of the most relaxing games ever made. I mean, once you get started on a playthrough, you can sit there and play this for like all an enormous amount of hours, you know? What up, chickens? But yeah, with the speaking of the Stardew music, you guys know he actually has an orchestra doing a Stardew Valley concert tour. That's something I would have never guessed would have was gonna happen. Hey, <laughs> you know, Stardew concert tour for God's sakes! I mean, come on. Well, kind of. It's almost it's more like it's the other way around, Nick. If there's a buyer, there will always be a seller. If there's a seller, there may not always be a buyer. Hey, you know. But if somebody's willing to buy something, there's always somebody willing to sell something. I'm not positive, but I think the strawberry seeds are 100 gold. I'm not sure on that. So I want to go into the egg festival with just as much gold as I can. I am not. I sold a, one of my white Betsy's. 
The gold Betsy, I've only got one of, so I'll never sell it. I had two of the white Betsies. I sold one of those like a year ago. Sadly, it was somebody who started off uh, as a normal dungeon defenders grinder and collector and ended up getting too obsessed with it all and started offering people real life money for things and he ended up getting banned. I wish I wouldn't have sold it to him since that happened. going on Bob how you doing well it's just the games that are popular a lot of the games that are super popular and like a lot of the Asian countries are all free to play grind games you know with massive microtransactions. So it becomes just a, what people are used to. Yeah, a lot of gotcha games. Gotcha games aren't even pay to win. It's a pay to gamble to hope you win, <laughs> you know? I play Ark Knights. That's the only gotcha game I play. I try to stay away from those. Um, probably Chaos 8, but I'm not positive off the top of my head. It's been so long since I bothered looking at that. The Crystal Betsy. The regular Betsy pet doesn't drop anywhere. That's a Defender Metal item only. Some stone. We can take the stone over the algae, I guess. Keep going until I can't uh, catch anymore, and then I'll head back and clear. Used to play Summoner's War for mobile. I never played that one. I played some, uh, I didn't play, I haven't played a lot of mobile games other than the, like the popular tower defense stuff, the Bloons games and Kingdom Rush and stuff. Kingdom Rush actually has a new game coming uh, pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. It's actually already out on, um, I think it's out on Apple and it will make it to PC and everything. Uh, I do post stuff on other games all the time. Nobody watches the stuff. So it's tough to, I kind of pigeonholed myself uh, a bit with um, my YouTube channel. Where, you know, it's widely considered a Dungeon Defenders YouTube channel. So if it's not Dungeon Defenders, a lot of the people just won't watch the stuff. What up, Sinbad? Yeah, man, got the new farm going here. Oops. All right, shoot. I guess we can go look for some onions. 
I don't have enough energy left to really do much clearing here. Where the cave is open already or is the cave always open I, mean, I guess it's always open thanks for following there vicky i do appreciate it Oh, nice and bad. Yeah, man. Um, well, I knew the update was coming. I was, I got it out of bed early for it. <laughs> I knew it was dropping. Of course, it didn't end up dropping in the afternoon. So it was a waste getting out of bed early, but. From Brazil, very nice. Try to get some forageables here to get a little energy to do a little clearing. You knew when you saw the stream? Yeah, I was ready for this one, man. I've been stalking Concerned Ape and all his socials for, what, three, two or three months? We've known about this update. Just waiting for it to get here. Not many onions today. That's a bummer. So much stuff to clear. And like I said, that blue grass, I don't want to harvest until I got a silo. Clear. Do I want to clear down first or over first? I guess we can go over first and then we'll worry about down later. Nothing but various forms of onions. Gonna have the dragon breath going big time here. So yeah, anyway, like this piece of wood here, you get no XP for. Where this rock, you do get XP. So it's it's kind of weird how that stuff works. And that uh, that all became real apparent uh, with that new system, the mastery system.
get enough of these trees knocked down, make some field snacks, and that will help the old, uh, the old energy usage here, too, quite a bit. What have we got? 25? What do we need for the field snacks? Just all the acorn, maple, and pine. Only got two. Better than nothing, I guess. Throw those back in. Let's grab that. And make sure our chickens are good. Oh, it names your chickens for you. I didn't think about that. You don't get to name your uh, your starters. All right, and what is that for wood? 271, so I'm close to unlocking the, the beach. Go ahead and nap it out here. Well, that's a good thing, Sinbad. That's a good thing. Not as much gold that day. What up, Marnie? Yes, please. Would love a cat. Poor little Blitz. Rest in peace. All right, what's good here? Our team members have removed the landslide caused by a drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. Why do I not believe that? All right, so that means we can start hitting the mines. There's good and there's bad there. If you start hitting the mines, you working your way towards sprinklers. But you're also going to obsess over working your way towards sprinklers. <laughs> and you're not going to do any fishing and make any money. So it's a mixed bag on whether or not you go to the mines yet. I mean, that's just how it goes, you know? Once you can start automating, I mean, you can start automating. So why would you not focus it, you know? Let's at least go up there and uh, get our sword. And, you know, we can smack, smack a couple of rocks or whatever. We'll go rock slapping. Yeah, you start with ch two chickens on day one, and you don't, it doesn't give you seeds at the beginning. You start off with hay to feed the chickens. And then the, the niche with it is there's blue, a new grass type, blue grass that grows. And the blue grass um, is double uh, animal affection. 
which means they're going to start laying laying eggs twice as quick and um and uh they're going to grow twice as quick basically everything's going to happen twice as fast well that was lucky out of inventory space what are you gonna do geode as well take the geode least um i think we'll call it good there and uh go make some money got our sword anyway now though i will want to press that down as quick as possible to get uh you know get the sprinklers going but that first tier of sprinkler is so bad i normally don't worry about those I personally usually just water. I will want to get down in there a little bit more here soon, but like I said I want to focus the cash and clearing is my main priorities right now. So what do we want to do? I don't have very much energy left. I guess we can go down and look for um, more onions. came down the wrong way it's over here further right yeah I don't even have uh, any inventory space to put the onions I can just trash this fiber if I see any sap either man not much down here I guess we can catch a couple of fish just so I make something today or should I just go clear some more 
Hmm, I don't have a ton of energy left. Just catch one. That's all we got room for in the inventory anyway. Dang it, man. Keep going up. Keep going up, fish. Don't go down. What do we got? The sunfish. In some wood. We'll take it. The, the Betsy pet never drops anywhere. It's defender metals only. You're talking about crystal Betsy. Yeah, it's exactly what I said. It drops a chaos eight and up. I mean, that's the only place to play it. There's not another another way you can go and play that one. All right, we'll dump that. Rio six, we can unlock the beach. I guess let's run down and unlock the beach before I start using that wood somewhere else. What's up, blue hair lady? Currently on lunch. Very nice. All right. We in the money now. It's not a ton of cash, but it is extra cash. Well worth the 300 uh, wood spent. Oh, weird. There's two different worms here. I don't have my hoe on me. I wonder what the deal is with that. New worm type? Yep, Stardew is very chill. One of the best chill games ever made. Crazy addicting, too. All right. Well, I got a little bit of energy. We still got some time, too, though. Dump all that stuff. couple of these and go slapping trees. I don't know, I got mixed emotions on this layout so far though. It seems like there's a lot of gonna be a lot of dead space. That I mean you can always um like enclose it for farm animals, but Seems like there is an awful lot of dead space. Wow, 
Wow, big old fishing area over here. Probably all trash fish, but... Getting there. Got a whole lot of stuff to clear, though. Getting dark. I think we'll just, uh... Just go nap in here. Back up to 89 wood. Actually, we can make one more chest. Oops. pretty good man 800 gold just for that <laughs> what up dude i have indeed been breaking some rocks Thanks, homie. Appreciate it. What do I need to make that? 20 copper ore and 25 stone. Did I get 20 copper ore yet? I didn't. All right, and these are already popped. I thought they were going to work out the same day as the potatoes, but I guess not. So do I buy more seeds? Let's check the time. It's the 6th. I can't remember what day the egg festival is. For some reason, I think it's like the 13th. So if that's the case, there's more than enough time. I also could buy that first inventory upgrade. Let me see. Yeah, it's the 13th. So this is strawberry day, basically. We'll take a quick trip down to the beach and see if there's any shells and then uh, buy some seeds. And I, I think I should get that first inventory upgrade. I got mixed emotions on spending um, prior to the 13th. Oh, wow. No forgeables down here at all, huh? See if there's anything over here. Nope, nothing yet. Ew.
I am curious with these artifact spots. I didn't bring my hoe again, but like this is a different one. So I'm wondering if that's something else, like the new books or whatever. And I hate to spend it already, but it would just be such massive quality of life. It's 2,000 gold. Might as well do it. It's just tremendous quality of life having twice the inventory size. Let's see. What do we want to do? We want to do more potatoes? And broke again. Actually, these potatoes, I don't think, are going to have time to pop. I should have took a different crop. They might pop on the morning of the 13th. Which is too late. <laughs> Because I won't be able to sell this stuff before going to the egg festival. But that was only 900 gold. Not enough to, to break me. All right. Let's drop this stuff. I think we'll drop everything and go fishing. Oh, I don't even need to drop everything. I forgot. I just upgraded my inventory. God dang it. Didn't need to do that anyway. Carp. Must be a carp. Yep. Come on, fishy. Had the funds to buy two seeds? Oh, yeah. Been there. <laughs> Been there.
Ugh, come on, really? So I basically got seven days to earn what I can. Um, the fastest way to earn money for the 13th is going to be through fishing, but... On the same note, if I just focused the mines... <laughs> It's always that mixed bag, you know? Do you focus the fishing? Or do you get ready for the strawberries and the watering? I think, to be honest, long term, getting the sprinkler set up is probably, you know, much greater than than the fishing. And the, the other deal is when you focus the mines too early, sometimes you won't... Uh, you won't be leveled up high enough to even make the tier two sprinklers before you get the resources to make them. Definitely a little bit of balance there that you kind of have to plan for. Nothing worse than having the mats and not being able to use them, you know? Come on now. What's up with all these trash fish? Hey girl, what you doing? Up here checking out my fishing rod? She just playing me some chill music. Appreciate it, girly. Should be a pretty good haul today. I think it'll be over a thousand gold anyway. One more, and then we'll head back. We'll blow the rest uh, clearing. One more real one, that is.
No, definitely 100% not. I don't even want to get in the mix with that conversation. I get accused of so much shit as it is, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it seems like an enormous waste of time to even do that to begin with, to be honest with you. Oh, I get accused of everything. Anytime anything happens in Dungeon Defenders 2 that someone doesn't like, it's my fault. Every time. Right. Let's see, we can keep. Let's grab this stuff. All right, try to get a little bit more cleared out here. Eleven more. Do I have enough to hammer that? Oof, down to two energy. That's pushing it. All right, let's see. That there, that there, those there. Yeah, I think that's good. Keep that other stuff because it's just easy energy. I got me a scarecrow. Level three fishing now. Oh, wow. That's a nice haul. 1700 that day. Good stuff. Good stuff. What do we got? Joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. Oh, it's Robin. All right. God, that's so few potatoes. Well, we'll see what they sell for. Throw that in there too. I forgot to get my watering can. Grab that as well. Where did I put my watering can? Here it is. All right, now do I buy, what do I got? I got six days. I could do the, I could buy, um, what, the parsnips. And those would be popped on what, day 11? Either day 11 or day 12. So that would work out. What do we got? We got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven spots there. I could always dig more spots. The parsnips are not super profitable either, though, is the deal. It's not like you're raking in the dough on the parsnips, but it is income. Is it income worth spending on, though, is the question. Hmm. I got mixed emotions. I think I'm going to pass on the parsnips this time. I just don't think... I mean, it'll be a few hundred um, gold in profit. But I think just the energy I would expend watering them every day would make it not worth. Mm 
So let's check here and then we'll head up to the mines and get the rest of the copper we need to make the furnace. One clam as well. I guess RNG is uh RNG is getting me there, Royal. All right, I got my sword, I got my pickaxe, so let's just head, uh, let's head up to the mines. Wow, there's like no forgeables at all. And see if we can get down to 10. I like to try to advance the mines at least five. At least five tiers every day. God, it takes so long to kill anything at this low level. Thanks for following there, Dom. Appreciate it. We're never going to get down to the bottom, huh? Come on, let us. Probably a bad luck day here. Or it was uh, Royal Jinx in my RNG. Maybe that was it. burn my energy before I make it anywhere when it's looking uh, there's one little copper node here might as well get it Come on now, give me a quick down. And let's uh, just get to 10 and we'll get out of here.
course I get uh, a floor that just takes forever to clear with this crappy starter sword. Carrot seeds, all right. Oh man, so many enemies. Ah, oh, shit. I'm screwed. Oh no! Let's get the hell out. I can't handle that many at once with this trash sword. Sucks though, I only got one more floor to go down to get a unlock. Come over here. So I got to get this guy. That eh, wasn't too bad. All right, why is there another mob somewhere? Hmm. Oh, there's one rock. Or no, that's a mob. There we go. Ooh, cherry bomb. Well, why not let me pick that up? There we go. All right, well, there's 10 anyway. And I got a shiny new item. What do we got, some booties? Take them booties. Plus one defense. I like it, I like it. All right, it doesn't leave me a whole lot of energy, but I can get a little bit of clear in anyway. And did I get enough? Yeah, it should be enough to make uh, to make the furnace too. And I got one piece of hardwood. Rest of that stuff will keep. Now, is this this is a mute? No, that's a yam. We can just sell it. I mean, it is good energy, but all right, hardwood in there. We'll put the mining stuff in here. Geode, bug you. Uh, let's throw that in there too. All right, and then I got what. 89 energy left. Yeah, like all this, to me, when I see all this green grass here, I see wasted farm plots. <laughs> like, I wish that none of that was there. I mean, it'll be fine for getting animals in.
All right, better call it a day there. That's 100 wood, though. Not too shabby. And was that... I think that may have been enough to make some more field snacks, too. Let's see... Yeah, that's pretty decent. Only five, but that's a, you know, that's 225 energy right there. Level two farming. See, we got the trash sprinkler now. This one is not worth using, in my opinion. Like, it's just, it's four spots, is it? So, like, I usually skip that one altogether. Potatoes sell for a decent amount. Or I guess that's only 10 gold each. Or no, it's 80 gold each, They because but I had 10 of them. It's a little bit more cash, anyway. check the luck on whether or not we decide to go into the mines neutral so neutral generally means go fishing <laughs> thousand gold when you're ready for it a lot of stones scattered around your farm Man, I don't want a well though Come on out, little chickens. Got a gold egg that time. All right, so. I mean, got it's still got a lot, a lot, a lot of clearing to do, but at least have this main farming area right here uh, pretty well cleared. Of course, we'll have weeds and random stuff pop up uh, between now and the time where I can actually use it, but... Higher energy bar gone. No gold made. Oof. I got all those field snacks, though. We're getting it clear. We're getting it clear.
right, let's see. Let's eat this cookie. That'll be a bunch of energy. Yeah, that's nice. What we got? We got no... Oh, now there's some. And we can make a couple more. Alright, so what do we want to do? I guess let's go try to make a little bit more cash here. So we'll... See, it's actually early in the day. I might be able to go five more floors in the mine. See, here, like, for the money, fishing would be better. For the long-term progression, the mines would be better. So do you take the instant gratification of the fishing and get the money? Or do you just get it in the mines and hope you can get like another level unlocked. I mean, let's try to go down another. I mean, is there time to even go down five more floors? I'm not sure, but we can try. Little guy was up on me. Oh no, we got those moths. And these guys take forever to kill with this crappy sword. hate not being able to see in these either it's tough to see where the ladder is sometimes oh there it is Got anything valuable up here? Doesn't look like it. God, man, the moths are just the most irritating thing. That bounce back just kills their the time to kill on them, you know? And now there's two. Jesus.
All right, come on, ladder. Didn't want to waste all my uh, food here. I'm going to lose the whole day if I don't get that ladder here. Oof. Oh, this was a bad luck day, wasn't it? God dang it. Why did I bother? Dang it, using up more food. I need to go two more floors to get another unlock. All right, now give, give me a little luck here. field snack gone They added a lot more of those too, the little diggy guys. Doesn't seem like you run into this many before. I'm not sure. I almost feel like that's been kind of rebalanced a little or something. Stupid ladder. Mirage, what's up? Thank you so much for the sub. gonna be like the last rock in this place that gives me a ladder at night. Oh, there we go. Good lord. That was brutal. But we got another unlock. Let's just go ahead and bail. And 35 more copper ore. What did we need now? Stone, I think. I 
Another Gunther item. Getting some prep for a Warframe update on the 27th of March. Very nice. Here's our furnace. For now, we'll just drop it right there. Might as well start cooking. You know what? Let me grab my O2 and just cause just in case I do need it at some point. What all's coming with that update? Is it um another um storyline? Another quest line? Is the typo intended? Uh, let me see. I'm not seeing it. Where's the typo? Oh, capitalism. There we go. Fixed. Good call, good call. I think I spelt it wrong on uh my thumbnail on YouTube too. Big old face palms. I'll have to uh I'll have to get that changed. Sturdy ring and a bug steak. Bug steak does not sound very enticing. What up, liquid? All right, let's check the luck this time. I'm not going to go back to the mines unless it's an exceptional day for uh, for luck. We can just leave that there for now. I don't need it at the moment. What's up, little chickens? New mission type, new end game, weekly mission, new Warframe, and new augments. Oh, wow. Use three Archon shards to make one Tau Forged. I hope there's not a new story. <laughs> That's the one part of Warframe I feel they just do terrible with. Those quest lines are just miserable to go through. <laughs> I know not everyone feels that way, but but God, I do. All right, let's make some money. We got 3,400 right now. Oh, you know what? I need to actually wait and go over and do the the little town cut scenes. So we'll just uh, smack uh, logs for until 9 a.m. and then head over there. I always love the Warframe updates, but I absolutely hate the quest lines, man. And the way they lock you into them is just so oof. Like I said, I know that's not a super popular opinion, but I, for one, do not know many people that play Warframe for the story. You know? All right, I could work on a silo.
the problem I have with the story is the whole locking you in part. And then, like, I, I understand you're going to have to complete an achievement or whatever to be able to do the new content. And I'm fine with that aspect of it. But there's nothing worse than having a fucking boring ass three hour story that you got to sit through. And even if you skip everything that's skippable in the entire thing, you're still like 90 minutes or whatever. That part of it drives me nuts. And then not being able to play the other content until you've got it complete. Just, I don't know. It drives me nuts. 10 a.m. Glad somebody's watch works around here, SciTech. <laughs> But yeah, that's my main uh, main issue with the story. I mean, the game is so super fun. As far as action, like action shooters, Warframe does it pretty well, you know? There's like not many games that do it better than that. All right, we should get a little cutscene here. Which we're going to skip. We don't care about your community center, Mayor. We are here for the money. Joja, here we come. <laughs> Yo, homie. I'm doing good. You delayed to help make your transaction? Uh, I didn't read it all. Membership costs 5,000 gold. Would you like to join? I would love to, but I don't have 5,000 gold yet. So we will be joining you later. They're just so bad, though, is the problem. I think what really killed the storyline and the lore for me in Warframe is when they went off into all this operator shit. I mean, the game is called Warframe. It's not called Operators. You know? Like, I appreciate the combat um, tactics you get from going in and out of your frame to an operator. But I could give a shit about that operator story. You know? Personally. Like I said, I know that's not a super popular opinion, but. I mean, I want new frames, new guns, new bosses that require platforming around and shooting shit. I mean, that's what, to me, that's what makes Warframe great is that stuff. And then the, the operator story stuff in it is what bogs the game down. In my personal opinion. It's not the right place to fish. But I'll be able to earn a couple of pennies or so. Yeah, sardines don't sell for shit. I think for this one, I'm not going to waste the food. I'm just going to blow my energy and then go sleep. What do we got? Come on, be something crazy good. That is not crazy good. Well, we'll take it. We'll take it. You know, if they didn't lock you into it, I wouldn't mind it as much. Like, if you could start the story and then 
you think, all right, well, this is boring the living shit out of me. I want to take a break and go run a few missions or whatever and pop out of the story and go run some missions. I would probably have no problem with it. But I, that whole lock you in thing, like the last big one that they put out, I had a hard time making it through. And then some of it was super fun. Like, a lot of people don't like all of that that little quest line for all of the... Um, I can't remember what quest line it was called. The one that had all of the... Um, what are the little surfboards that you ride called? I can't remember the name of them. Good lord. Has it been that long? The stuff that came with Fortuna. K drives, that's right. How did I forget K drives? Anyway, that a lot of people hate doing that K drive storyline where you have to go out and do the tricks and stuff. To me, I thought that one was fun. Cruising around on your K drive, learning how to do crazy flips and stuff but on the same note i mean i could k drive around um fortuna for hours yeah the one for you really but yeah man i could cruise around on my k drive and do flips and shit for just a pretty stupid amount of time <laughs> and be pretty content with it so I guess it depends on how they're breaking it up. I don't know. I just didn't like the whole lock you in thing that they did with the last big ones and with them taking so long to do where it was like a two hour, three hour deal or whatever and you're locked in and you can't play anything else in the game until you finish it. That was a big, big, a big game changer for me. Like that was when I stopped playing every update it was because of that one. I do love the game, but I love the other aspects of the game. Change of that. I think everything for the museum. Why did those... I put those eggs in there. I don't know. I think for everything for the museum, I'm going to put here... So we'll put one of those there. Do we have any other museum things? Actually, I had a museum box here. All right. Maybe we won't do that. I'll put something else in that box. We'll save the jade. And eat the seaweed later. And I'm actually out or damn near out of energy. So let's just go and sleep. All right, we got a rain day. That's nice. All right. Now, what do we do here? Do I go fishing for more money? Figure I got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is 30 crops. Right now I got enough gold for 40 strawberry seeds. So like one more row across the bottom would be 40. But do I want more than that? More strawberries equals more money, right? Decisions, decisions. Let's do it. Let's make some more money. Let me drop these eggs off.
And then we'll head over and up to the mountain. I'm not going to sign up for Joja yet. Because I'm going to save the cash for the strawberry, you know, when the strawberries get here. I mean, then there's the other option of just go ahead and sign up for Joja and fish like a mofo every day for the next three days. But I know everyone is sick of me turning my Stardew Valley experience into Fishing Valley because I just do that so damn often. <laughs> Well, I mean, liking the story is a benefit, too. Like, for me, like, that last big one that was several hours where you got the the new adult operator, that one, I absolutely despised every single second of that. <laughs> and that was the problem. It took so long to do, and I hated the story. I just didn't care. I wanted to be done with it, you know. Moki with the raid. Welcome, y'all. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it there, Moki. The collecting aspect of Warframe I've always liked, though. Like collecting all the frames and all the different weapons and everything. I've always enjoyed that aspect of the game. And leveling up, you know, leveling the different things. And I mean, the mastery system gets to such a crazy grind. But it's still pretty enjoyable. How you doing today, Monkey? See if the rainy day fishes are going to be uh, rewarding or not. The rare disc. Stardew? Yeah. I've logged a whole lot of hours in Stardew. Just such a wonderful game. I'm super excited about that Haunted Chocolatier, too. I think... I don't know, man. I just got a lot of love for Concerned Ape. What he was able to do with Stardew is just incredible, you know? Just such a well, a well-rounded, complete experience. Playing for the first time now? Awesome. I still have all my saves. Well, I've deleted a bunch of them, but... Like my main, uh, my main very first playthrough game save is on like year 15 now. And I 100%ed it. I've got 100% the new stuff still, but 100%ed all the old stuff. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I make like 50 million gold a year off of it. Actually, probably way more than that. Probably about 100 million gold a year. But, I mean, those options are there for you. And then especially if you get into, like, the... You know, just the logistics and automation and everything else. You can do some really cool stuff. And then there's a massive amount of mods, too. There's really good mods for Stardew. I always like to do a pretty clean uh, experience for my first playthrough after an update. So, like, I'm not using any mods now. But uh, there are a lot of really good mods. Uh, for sure. 
All right, looks like my fishing leveled up again. That little pop-up they give you when you level up now is kind of nice, too. It's just crazy too that like a uh, eight-year-old gamer or whatever can hit their most players online eight years later you know i mean that just shows you how many people just adore stardew valley like there were so many people just super anxious to play update 1.6 the day it goes live they Actually, it was like a 50% increase over their most played ever. It went from like 95,000 up to 150,000 or something like that. I'm sure there's probably a ton of people online playing it right now. It just really is just a great game. I can't rave about it enough. The one and only thing that really annoyed you in Warframe is the the Necrocell, the in-game weekly mission. I don't think I've played that one yet. this out of space I think we can catch one more anyway Keep going until I have to throw something away. I'm wondering, too, if I want any speed growth for the strawberries. I've, I i don't think I've ever done the math on that. Those can just go in the trash. Like, when you get the strawberries at the egg festival, do you, if you'd use the speed grow, does it allow enough time for another harvest on the strawberries? Does anyone know? I mean, if so, maybe I'm going to want to buy some some of that speed grow. I don't think I can make it, can I? Nah, I can only make the basic fertilizer. Oh, and you can do it five times a week. Well, I mean, it only it always sucks if it's there's in any game really, where there's some kind of game mode that has exclusive rewards that you don't like the game mode. That was me with the incarnate weapons. Like that entire update, I really really liked the roguelike aspect of it, and I couldn't stand the incarnate stuff. 
going after the incarnate weapons. I mean, getting the weapons, obviously, once I got them, I was pretty happy with them. Your white chest for the museum. Stuff's all mining related. Got a little bit of energy left, so let's just burn it off here on uh, some trees or whatever. Gax isn't strong enough. Boo. Um, I don't believe. No, it doesn't sound familiar to me, so I'm assuming I probably didn't. The last time thing I played was the story that went along with the little event you did to get the Incarnan stuff. That's the last thing I played. I don't have enough to chop that tree down. Got a pretty nice little clearing going, though. Can I make any more field snacks? It's like a couple. Better than nothing. Getting lucky on these rain days, though. That's two rain days already. Another 1700. So we got two full... Oh, wow, another rain day. The bookseller is here. I don't care about the bookseller at this point. Shoot, I wonder if they're going to have food. Yeah, they still got food. I need to get that silo going. I wonder where I'm even going to put it, though. I could put it right here, maybe, but that's going to, like, really jumble up that area and make it a bit of a mess. I wonder if I can fit it in right next to this. I mean, is that even where I would want it? I mean, I guess I could put it right there. The silo. Just drop this stuff. And then we'll head up and go... Do another round of fishing here. If you have the money to buy it, then it's worth doing. I mean, 
I think I've got the money to buy it. The thing is, is I, I just wonder the timing. Like, because you don't get to plant that stuff. Oh, not worth doing if you must buy it. Okay. Well, you probably don't get an extra harvest then. Because the strawberries regrow, of course. So it's a matter of do you or don't you get the extra harvest in. If you don't, I you know, then probably not, but that and that's the other thing is is the extra harvest gonna be as valuable as buying the speed grow? That might be the problem too. I guess it depends on how many crops you get, but if you you know, if you gotta buy it, because that stuff's not cheap. Let me see in fact let me go down and look and see how much it is. Ten percent, so that's not even one day then, huh? What is the strawberries their initial uh time? Is it like six days or eight days or something like that? I wonder if the game rounds rounds up. I bet you're right though. I bet it's just not worth. How much are they charging for it? Oh, he doesn't even have it in stock. Oh, there's not here any here anyway. All right, well, screw that stuff. I mean, I would rather have more the gold to get more strawberries anyway. I think if you look at it, what you spend versus what you gain. That in 10% is just not a big amount. You know? Oh, he doesn't sell it after he can make it. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, 10% is just not a huge amount. I get those strawberries in the ground, then everything I can make, I can dump into like a better fishing rod, uh, upgrade my tools, etc. But I don't want to spend. I don't want to spend until I get those strawberries in, you know? And then all the Joja stuff. I mean, that stuff is not very expensive when you look at it overall. But when you're just starting... You know, what do you prioritize? You know, do you prioritize the greenhouse? I think if you had enough strawberry seeds to throw in the greenhouse, and you could prior to prioritize that, that might be the way to go. And then I think that will come around to as well. Like, do you have sprinklers? Because, you know, having to water that greenhouse every day would be miserable. Most people shoot for the bus stop. Just to try to get to Iridium faster? Or? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I think there's one song on the Stardew soundtrack that gets copyright claimed, and I think this might be the song. This is the main theme song, isn't it? Yeah. 
Or no, this is Ginger Islands. Turned ape. Stir nah, this song's fine. It's the Ginger Island song. I think I took the song that gets copyright claimed off the playlist. gonna play mostly with quality sprinklers and prepare hardcore for the skull cavern i always i'm never a fan of the skull cavern so i always try to buy my iridium sprinklers every friday but of course you gotta jump through all the hoops to do that the Skull Cavern, being able to get into the Skull Cavern early. I, I usually don't like to go into the Skull Cavern until I got some gear, basically. I just get wrecked. I mean, I couldn't even imagine, like, rushing the Skull Cavern and going in there with a trashy sword or whatever. I mean, I would just be cussing. <laughs> The get good is not strong enough for me. Oh, I've done the Skull Cavern legit. Um, every time until my last playthrough. The last playthrough I did, I started using that Skull Cavern elevator, elevator mod. Yeah, same one. That's just such great quality of life. The, skull, the thing with the Skull Cavern is it's just not fun trying to rush down the floor 100 or 200 or whatever. You know, like you got to spend a ton of resources and, you know, you got to have a shitload of rock to make the little dealies to skip floors. I don't know. For me personally, it's just not fun. It's the least fun thing in the entire game, in my opinion. Like everything else in the game, I really enjoy doing that's just not one of them you know and i didn't know that's that elevator mod existed so i've always done it the hard way like i knew that there was like cheat mods and stuff but i never knew that elevator mod was a thing and when it was like two playthroughs ago somebody's like you know, this is like the third time I've watched you play Stardew, and every time you always bitch about the Skull Caverns. Why don't you just use the elevator mod? And I'm like, what? What is this elevator mod you speak of? <laughs> and I'll be honest, I'll probably add the elevator mod onto this playthrough when I get to that point. I just... It's no, no joy for me going into the Skull Caverns and trying to grind down hundreds, hundreds of floors in a day or whatever. Which, of course, I mean, you don't need to do that. Go down to floor 150 or 200 or whatever. You just don't have to do. But... If you're going to go to Skull Caverns, you want to go down there, right? What are we up to, I wonder? Are we over a thousand gold today? I mean, I want to get JoJo started.
Well, that one, by the, I guess with just the way Stardew Valley's updates launched, by the time Key's Quest came to get down to 100, all of the playthroughs I was in, I already had like an enormous amount of material saved up. So for that one, I ended up just blasting it with, uh, with the little craftable stairs, you know? New achievement, Mother Catch. I think that's just for catching a certain number of fish. A floor 900, I've never gone down that far. Part of it is because I'm just always so rich, I just don't need that much iridium. You know, I just usually deck the farm out so heavy that I've got like all the iridium just pumping out every day from those statues. How does that work? I never really paid attention to that with the grandpa's annual review thing. If you go Joja, you don't get any of the credit from the community center. Grandpa come down and say, shame on you, you sell out little brat. <laughs> no statue for you. All right, I better head back. Getting low on energy anyway. I'm sure that's over a thousand. That will put me at more gold than I think I'm comfortable there's a perfection rating now that you can buy. Um, I'm actually got a tutorial video coming out tomorrow morning on it. There's a new edition where, you know, sorry to spoil anything for anybody, but you know the cave that you get the professor out of on Ginger Island? A Joja guy goes and hangs out in that cave and he will give you perfection rating for cash basically that was the whole that's the whole deal with this one the perfection through capitalism I'm going to try to go to 100% perfection on this playthrough as Joja which has never been possible in the past Oh, yeah. It's 2K. Very nice. It's actually available to non-Joja players, too. So, like, for people that... You know, like, some people just don't want to go through that grind. The perfection rating grind. Where you can just go buy it. Go, just go buy your perfection rating. All right. Let's see, let's go love on the chickens. What up, little chickens? Gonna need to feed them too in case it rains. Not a whole lot of hay left. I really want to get that silo going. See, 7,900. So is it 100 gold per strawberry seed? Am I remembering that correct? Or is it more than that? I think it's a hundred. 
If that's the case, I'll be able to do 79 strawberry seeds. So this area here would be 60. Or I could just do 60. And then have some money left over to get JoJo kicking. I think that's 60, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, that's 60 there. 60 would be easier to water. Let's just do the 60. So do I want to get some more cash money flowing here? I mean, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have 1,900 left over. What is my fishing at? My fishing is at level 4. So I could theoretically spend 1,900 gold right now. Actually, did I not... Did I just harvest those potatoes? That's going to be a little bit of change, too. Get out of the way, you little brat. I need to be checking for a coffee bean as well. Coffee bean is always so expensive. Let's see. 1800 for the fiberglass rod. And so much money. Doing it. A little bit of bait too. I had a little bit already. That's going to leave me 160, but plus I get, there's no way I'm going to have the 5k to sign up for Jojo, but it, I mean, a couple days of fishing, like I won't even have to wait for the strawberry pop. I mean, 60 is decent enough of a number, I guess. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. Let's just, uh, we'll fish it out. Uh, tomorrow we get the festival. And I can pre, I can prepare for that in advance, since it sends you back home at midnight. Come on now, I got a fancy fishing rod with bait on it. Give me no broken CD bullshit. What the hell?
You've got to be kidding me, man. This is crazy. There we go. Finally. Some fishes. Once I get the strawberries in the ground, then I will focus the mines a little. Because I'd like to, when I get to the summer, I'd like to have the tier 2 sprinklers going. But I'm going to have to do some heavy duty mining to get to that point. Actually, I think I got a quest to go into the adventurer's place and talk to them right now. Just crazy getting that 5,000 gold uh, fishing treasure right now. Dang, we'll take some uh, iridium. go check in. I'm pretty sure I got that quest now, right? Or no, just reach level 40 in the mines. I don't think I can even go in there yet. Let me see. Inventory full. No, they let me in. What up, dude? Got nothing good here, huh? All right, that should be... I don't think that's going to be a thousand, but that'll be a little bit of gold anyway. I mean, I could always expand on it. I could, you know, make that instead of 10 by 6, I could make it, you know, 12 by 6 or whatever. I never watered that stupid seed.
Say I got a little bit of energy left. Might as well use it. Mirage, have a good one. Thanks for swinging by. Uh, enjoy your evening. So much crap to clear out. Holy crap, man. Look at it all. Push it. Definitely getting it cleared out, though. <clears throat> Five fishing. Fish worth twenty five percent more. Yes, please. All right, shit. That was two k. Damn. All right, so that was a pretty decent day. And today's strawberry day. So. Now I got to make the, the tough decision. If I go two more. That's now 72 strawberries. But if I'm going to do 72 strawberries. <laughs> uh, I 72 is a shitload of strawberries. That's going to be irritating as hell to water every day. So let me not get too carried away. Now I could pre-water this stuff right now. I think I'm just going to tear that one out. Get rid of that bad boy. I just leveled up on the... On those guys. Let's do it. 
So that was what? That's 72 strawberries, I think I said. I'm going to leave 2,000 left over. I don't have any scarecrows or whatever left yet. I think I can just make the scarecrows. But, you know, ideally I'd buy this scarecrow here. Oh, they don't have one. I thought it was one of the rare crows here. All right, so 72 strawberries. That leaves the 2K. What's up, peeps? What up, what up, what up? Enjoy your egg hunt. Uh, I know Abigail's a dirty cheater, so I'm not even going to bother to compete this year. And we're going to bail. missed a spot and it's too dark to see there it is <laughs> all right what was the scarecrow again 50 wood one coal 20 fiber Don't want those dirty crows getting all uppity here. Do that. And I think we are good. Yeah, see, there's the speed grow. Wasn't quite there yet. So now what we can do is check the time every day, displeased, so we don't want to be going to the mines on that, that day. Let's see, hopefully this is not more than two cans. But, I mean, this will be a shitload of money uh, once these guys start popping. And now I got to come up with three more thousand to sign up for JoJo. And then uh, it will be on. All right, so yeah, it's just shy of two cans, so that's pretty good. So, I mean, 3,000, I can make that in two days fishing. Maybe even make it in, like, a day and a half if I have uh, a little luck. But let's see. And there's a lot of energy left over. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Need 5,000 to pay the man. Oh, damn.
We'll see if I fish down to no energy what I'll have uh, left for tomorrow. Or see how much I make anyway. Hopefully make more than 1500 That way it's only going to be a two-day thing. The old rusty spoon. And derped on this one, huh? I wonder what that river jelly sells for. It's a good buff. I should sell one though, just to get the sell price logged. I got like 10 more casts. Now we're at the point where you just, your energy is so gone. If you don't have, you know, foraging or some way to, like I've been slacking this playthrough on those spring onions. I normally use the spring onions quite a bit. In fact, I think one more cast after this one and we'll just run down there and get some. Assuming there's any, any down there, of course. And they're terrible for energy, but it's free. Free is good. But yeah, energy bottomed out and we're only at 1 p.m. Eh, 
Yeah, getting some... Oop, shit. Oh my god. I almost derped it big time there. I can't accidentally cast on this one. If I do, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Wow, that was cutting it way close. In fact, let's just eat this so I don't do something stupid on the way back and accidentally make myself pass out. We'll take the long way back around. That way I can check for more onions. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's a shitload of them down there. Actually, on that note, I might as well check the beach for any shells, too, while I'm right here. At some point, I gotta start working on old Abigail. All right, so that's Carrot Seeds. That was one of the new artifact spots. I don't know if that was just random that I got Carrot Seeds from it. Those slimes are 75 energy. That is so much. How much health was it? 33 health. The river jellies. I'm thinking maybe even you save those for the mines. That's so big. That's another one of the new ones. That was carrot seeds as well. What season are those? Those are spring. Oh, wow. It's only three days to grow on those? Holy crap. Man, I don't even want to sell it now. It's too good. I'm going to grab Robin's axe while I'm over here, too. I guess I can't grab shit. I don't have any room. Man, there's a lot of forgeables down here, too. I'll just dump off and run back down here real quick. Too much stuff laying around to leave it behind. You know what, I'm going to sell it anyway, just to see what it's worth. Let's see, Gunther. One of those can go to Gunther. Those can just go in there. That can go in there. And let's head back down there and grab whatever we can. I want to be good for the mines, you know, where I can go down until I'm out of energy or the day's done. So I want to make sure I've got... Oops, it's over this way. I'm never going to get used to this one, where the exit is.
once I clear the farm out, I can put a path down. Won't be an issue, but until then, like walking through the jungle. Yeah, it's a new playthrough, uh, Vader. I just started it at the beginning of the stream here. So we're uh, year one, day 14. Just planted strawberries. Let's grab all these goodies. Um, wow, there's no onions down here at all. That's a bummer. Grab Robin's axe. Carrot seeds, man. Is that all? I think that might be... That's all that's in those new artifact spots is carrot seeds. Muted the tab on accident somehow. It happens. It happens. Let's see. I think I'll save this stuff for the energy. So let's just nap it out and we'll see... Uh, Not going to be at the 5K. How weird. My cat was just outside. Is he still down here? No, he teleported or something. I was like, what the hell? He teleported in. <laughs> Damn teleporting cats. All right, so those are 125 gold. But that's such a huge buff. It's just not worth spending the 125 gold on. But I got over the 1500. That's what I was hoping for. As soon as these strawberries start popping, I'll be rolling in the cash for a minute or two. Be able to get Jojo really kicked off. What's up, chickens? Forgot to check the luck. That's about half of my energy bar, it looks like. Very happy today. All right. Well, that means let's head up to the mines. Not going to make much. I'm not going to make any gold up there. But... We'll be able to make some progress, some long-term progress. Need to get me a better weapon. This sword's just a POS. Oh, it's berry time. 
Hmm, the salmon berries are a good opportunity too. So I can go turn this in at Robin. They're not a ton, but 25 energy and 11 health, so they're better than the onions. Let's give Robin her axe back. What up, Bob? Uh, I got strawberries in the ground and ready to start working on Joja as soon as these strawberries will get, uh, get to kicking. Giving Robin her axe back here. There you go, girl. Don't be leaving your axe laying around, that ain't right. And then... Let's put these here. Actually, I could eat that too. Guess we just leave it there for now. Let's just get into the mines. Um, as always, my goal in the mines... I don't ever really sweat the mines. So my goal is to at least get another elevator unlock. So I think I'm at 15 now, so I want to get to 20 at least. Yeah, we're at 15 here now. Oh, it's really a great game. It's one of those games where, like, I was on the fence about it at the beginning. You know, like, before I started, I didn't start playing Stardew right when it first came out. Like, I looked at it, I saw the pixel graphics, and I was like, ah, it's probably not for me. And then, at some point, I just decided to give it a shot and play through it. I think I was playing through it with uh, friends. My buddy Joe. And, um... And I ended up just getting hooked on it. You know? These guys turn into those irritating moths if you don't kill them right away. Oops. Needs a better sword, for sure. The moths just take so long to kill with the starter sword. They're just pure irritation. Oops. See, the exit might just be over here. No, no exit. Bunch of coal, though. Yeah, see, I didn't get that moth quick enough. So it's going to turn into one of these irritating moths that take 10 years to kill when you've got the starter sword going. Let's just start eating this stuff. Um, it's a RPG, so there's like <clears throat> There's uh, an entire progression system. I've played it a bunch, so like when you first play it, your goal is basically saving this town uh, through a little community center project, and there's a bunch of objectives to do. But since I've already done that 10 million times, I am uh, doing the new stuff that's in the update, which is basically 
similar, yet you're selling out to Walmart, basically. So I'm going to be a sellout to Walmart. <laughs> Anything but Wally World. Oh, yeah. See, that is a lot of moths right there that are all sleeping. If I don't run into a ladder before I get over there, that is going to be a huge problem. Because those guys are going to pop. And I'm going to have 20 of those little moths flying all over me. Come on, ladder. Be there. There it is. All right. Well, there was level 20, and we got a new sword. So we went from four to we went from two to five damage to four to eight damage. So definitely a nice upgrade there. Let's see. 520. I got 43 energy left. I'm not going to make it five more. So I'm going to be happy with my 20. A little damage upgrade that will make dealing with those moths and stuff a little easier. Let's just do the long loop around to get back and I'll look for those salmon berries. Uh, Diablo 4 is great for casual players. But if you're a player that spends more than, say, three or four hours a week gaming, you will very quickly tire of Diablo 4. I'm going to play this PTR that's upcoming um, to see what they're doing with Season 4. But I'm not holding my breath. I think that they'll make Diablo 4 really good, but I think it's going to take a year plus for them to get it to that stage. Well, I mean, that's what you do when you're a big box game. You cater to the sales and, you know, although there's 100,000 people that are very disappointed with the end game set up for Diablo 4, there's another 3 million that are married with kids and have limited time that absolutely love it and the game's perfect for them. So, I mean, I understand why, you know. It's a business, they're all about the cash. I mean, not only is it a business, but it's a publicly owned, publicly traded business on the New York Stock Exchange, so. I mean, they've got to cater to shareholders and shareholders could give a fuck about the end game. All they care about is how much money it is, you know? So, I mean, I like I said, I get it. It just is a bummer, especially when you like the franchise and you're really, really excited about it. And, like, I was really excited about Diablo 4. And then it just... It is what it is. I mean, I think everyone expected it. Just when you look at all Blizzard games, Blizzard games get better later, you know? Like, none of them are any good at launch. None of them are any good for the first couple of years. And then once you're a couple of years down the road, they'll have an expansion or something that'll change a bunch of things in the game, and it'll make it way better. But there, you combine that with their sexual harassment issues and their issues keeping employees uh, combined with a community manager that just lies through his teeth directly to you. And you just, it's a bad combo, you know? And that's what 
that's Diablo 4 right now. Can't get that one. Nope, not enough inventory space. I think I might. Now that I got salmon berries, I may just sell these onions. Oh, wow, look at them all. Try to make as much as I can. They're not going to sell for much, but... I'll use the salmon berries in the dungeons. They're a little bit more energy and a little bit more health than the onions anyway. And they regrow every day. <clears throat> Better get my butt back up there, huh? I'm gonna run out of time here in a minute. sell those this time keep all this other stuff though all right see what i made that day not crap there's something in the works for dda we just don't know what it is yet they teased a little bit about the big guy in the background on the summit fight which is expected to be like an end boss kind of thing. But they haven't given us any more information yet. Good humor. Pierre with his fertilizer. 500 gold. Thank you. Well, I'll be able to Jojo it up tomorrow. Assuming I don't go to the mines again. You know what? I should be starting over on this side. Less of a walk to get back with the watering can. Yep. my favorite comfort food that's a tough one man I mean as far as like normal comfort food that you can get anywhere that you live easily I'd probably say pizza definitely like some pizza all right Let's go back. I only got to make 500. So let's go get the 500. Deal with that first. Yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot of different things you could do with pizza. A lot of different flavors, depending on what you're in the mood for that day. And like, every one of them tastes good. Hey, <laughs> you know. What's up, homie?
I'm not a fan of fruity pizza. Uh, personally. So, I don't do the pineapple pizza myself, but... Like, I know a lot of people that love it. So, I don't judge, but it's not my preference for sure. Take much to get me over the hump. Or I can get my Joja experience going here. I like the salt and vinegar chips. I'm not a necessarily a huge fan of the dill pickle dip, but the salt and vinegar chips are awesome. And I don't get them very often because my wife hates them. So when I do get them, I definitely enjoy them. That's certainly more than 500 right there, right? Uh, I don't have a pet in DD2. The pets I have are in Dungeon Defenders 1 and Dungeon Defenders Awakened. There's a mask in DD2 that's always available. In fact, I'll be streaming it tomorrow. And uh, I'll probably give a few away. One more, and then we'll bolt. But that's certainly more than 500 gold right there. I mean, probably quite a bit more. Yeah, it's got to be a bunch.
and save the jelly. All right, so got a little bit of energy. I actually cleared pretty decent here. See if I got enough to make any more of these field snacks, and then the next good luck a day I have, I'll definitely hit up the hit up the mines again. What do we got? I got enough for three. That's a bummer, but three is better than zero. So let's just nap it out instead of wasting the food. And then we'll be able to get Joja kicked in. Yeah, 800 gold there. So we got Joja started anyway. We can do a slow lap around the bottom. Let me check the luck here today. Somewhat annoyed. All right, so today is not the day. I got a bunch of eggs on the ground, too. Let's see. Is there a bunch of them laying in here? Oh, yeah. It's definitely nice starter income uh, for those eggs. It starts you off with uh, 15. <clears throat> Pardon me. Which I still haven't run out of yet because they're they're eating in the field. They're not eating off of the food. This is the new farm. So the new farm starts you with two chickens. And then it grows this blue grass. And the blue grass is double effectiveness, basically. But yeah, you look, they're still just bunch of food just sitting there and with only two of them it, it this is the enclosure it spawn the, you know the game spawns with but even with just two of them it's not enough to wipe this grass out so as long as it's not raining they don't consume anything uh, because they eat in the field All right, let's take a salmon berry loop and then we'll stop off at Joja's and uh, officially sell our souls to the corporate overlords. I do want to clear up around this area a little too. Selling my soul to the corporate overlords. Oh, man. Two salmon berries down there, but I don't feel like running all the way down there and getting 
Guess we can stop at the beach too and check for any forgeables. Get out of the way, you little brat. Wow, nothing on the beach. Big bummers. A little something, something. Yes. You will no longer be able to refurbish it. However, Jojo will provide an alternative means to improving the town. Yes, please. All right, so. And it begins. Now we're kind of on the crop rotation. And then mining. Kind of all about that. So I'm going to blow off the rest of my energy here to get through uh, or to clear off uh, some more stuff. I mean, I still need to make sure I'm generating gold, but right now my main priority needs to be getting to the getting down into the mines. Let's go down, down at the bottom where it was all a mess and clean it up a little. play obstacle course to get in and out of town now at least or in and out of the farm again. I don't want to be clearing, you know, definitely not the blue grass here, but I don't want to be clearing any of the grass if possible until I get that silo down. Let's see, three o'clock. Let's just uh, go ahead and we'll burn this one to get her energy back. I should have done another loop looking for salmon berries, but... I don't think I really need to. I mean, it'd be helpful, but... All right, level four, we got a tapper, a mushroom log, and wild seeds. 
Still made a little change. All those eggs. Alright, see what we got. Good humor. Well, I mean, that's better than bad, right? So let's get this watered up, and then we'll head uh, up to the mines and try to knock out another five or ten floors. It should only be a couple more days until strawberries are popping. Right, let's see. I got plenty of inventory space, so let's just head on up to the mines. See if we can get to 25. Maybe I'll get lucky and be able to make it to 30. I mean, we'll see. The new sword should help a little bit. Make uh, the killing of the bads go a little smoother. Slightly more damage, anyway. Pretty riveting watering. <laughs> Well, you know, ideally you get to a point where you have sprinklers and then you don't deal with any of that. But if you go, if you stand in the middle of a three by three pattern, you can usually knock it out really quick because you can reach nine tiles from one spot. But yeah, action is definitely not any of the tags for Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's got some combat and action in it, but that's not what the game is about. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, I should have grabbed that copper. Oh man, people take it overboard. You watch the people that are doing speed runs of the game. They like use stop animation macros and stuff when watering to be able to water just that much quicker. Hey then, thank you so much, man. I'm just gonna bail. I don't want to deal with that moth. But yeah, people take it next level. Same thing with like mining. Like this, people use like a, literally will use a stop animation macro. That way they can swing faster. Damn, 62 months. Holy crap, Dana. Thank you so much, man. Getting lucky on the ladders here. Hopefully this continues. Oh my god, really? All right, I'll take it. Wow, another one. I don't have a five-year badge unlocked yet. 
I think you gotta have like a hundred thousand subscribers or something like that. Or no, it's not based off your subscribers. It's based off of the number of members. I don't remember how many it is I gotta have, but yeah, I gotta get that stuff unlocked still. No doubt we'll be able to make it to 30 on this one. Yeah, members like a similar to Twitch subs, but it's for YouTube. Yeah, this is I just started this one uh today. This is that new farm. It's an animal farm. It's got blue grass that spawns naturally. And the blue grass is double efficiency. So your animals gain their hearts twice as quick. And, um, you know, they, they'll they grow up to 10 hearts faster. Screw you, crab. All right, one more floor and I got 30 anyway. When it's 80 is where gold starts. Either 40 or 60 on iron, I don't remember which. Then I think it's 80 on gold. There it is. Nice. There's 30 anyway. Do I want to try to go to 35? I'm not sure I got enough uh, energy. Well, I'm just getting so lucky though. No way it's going to give me a ladder now, right? After all that good luck. Now I'm in the dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. You guys don't want to die, huh? Needs a better weapon. See their little eyeballs. Good lord, really? That's a lot of swings. Bats. Lord, man, how many goddamn bats are there going to be here? Is 
It's so irritating. All right. We gonna be able to get a ladder here? Not looking good. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna bail. I don't want to burn through all my food trying to get down just a few more floors. Um, I have used a webcam for many, many years there, Bob. In fact, depending on how tonight goes, uh, if you swing by tomorrow's stream, there might be a webcam going tomorrow. actually had a viewer send me a new one yesterday because my old webcam was kind of a hunk of shit and uh just got it last night i didn't have i'd be using it today but i didn't have a um i didn't have a cable i needed a a usb-c cable and I mean, I got a data one, but I don't. I didn't have one capable of doing high, high, high data transfer. I got a power one. I mean, but yeah, I may have that dialed in tonight. No promises, but uh, that is the plan. Is after dinner tonight, I'm gonna get that dialed in. That's the current plan today, though. All right, so what should we be? It should be, I think on the 20th, maybe, either the 20th or the 21st. Um, the strawberry should be popping. And then that will be like money day. Very displeased. We won't go to the mines today then. Fresh cauliflower. Screw you, Jody. I ain't giving you shit. Apparently, you didn't see. I just signed with Joja. <clears throat> so I could care less about your well-being, Jody. And your need for cauliflower. Oops. Missed one. Shit, it's five o'clock. God dang it. I was hoping to get to my first strawberry harvest today. Daniel, thank you so much. I do appreciate it an absolute ton. All right, so we had a bad luck day today. Uh, yep, still uh, getting it, Martin. I'm about, I'm like one or two days away from my first strawberry harvest, which will also be my first big uh, 
insurgents of cash. Speaking of, maybe I should start working on these copper bars a little. Because I'm going to need to upgrade that pickaxe here before too long. All right, let's just blow off our remaining energy clearing. We're actually making pretty good progress on clearing things. I'm not going to clear all this grass until I get a silo down, which I probably actually could do right now. Maybe I should go up and look into that, getting a silo down. I don't remember what I need for a silo. Hopefully it's just like wood and stone. Let's see, let me grab a bunch of wood. I only got three clay, so that's not gonna do me any good. Hopefully it doesn't need any clay. And then we'll grab a bunch of stone and let's uh, go see about this silo business. How much is it? Oh, 10 clay and five copper bars. All right, so I don't have enough to do it yet. And I can't buy clay from her, which is a bummer. You know what? How much is the... Wood floor recipe is only 100. Stone floor is 100. Buy both of those. I think that's good. So, no clay. Uh, I'll get a ton of clay, but I need to be tilling stuff to get clay. Here's some clay right there. How much was that? That's only three clay. I need to till the places down in the mine when I go mining. <clears throat> and that's also where, you know, I'll get some of the artifacts I need for the museum. Woody's Secret. So that's one of the new books. So, just by reading this book, it'll give me permanently uh, a 5% chance to get double wood. Which, you know, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. That's one of the new additions to the game. Uh, with this last update, there's books like that. And I already burned all my energy. I'm at that stage. I'm surprised I haven't gotten more clay. But, you know, what are you going to do? All 
That's six. Jeez, needs so much. We can keep. Keep that stuff on the bar. Let's just go and burn the day here. All right. Come on, strawberries. Be there. Nope. Tomorrow. Come on, chicken, get out of the way. This is a pretty small field of strawberries, but... I should get what? One, two, three. I think I'll get three harvests out of it. Let's just do the same thing. I'm gonna burn off the energy, go to sleep, um, as I wanna get this going. so much uh area that's not farmable on this map i got mixed emotions on that it's one of the things i like about just the original og map like you can farm that entire damn thing you know Oh shit, there's a bridge. I didn't see that. I guess I will be able to get over there. I need to upgrade my axe. I can't get through that hardwood uh, until my axe gets upgraded though. None of that's farmable either, it doesn't look like. But, I mean, I might be able to throw uh, a coop or whatever over there. All right. Let's see, what do we got? I got enough for two more of those uh, field snacks. Yeah, let's just burn it. Neutral day. There we go. Time to start rolling in the dough.
Let's see what that's going to sell for. I don't even know what the first uh, one I'm going to want for the first JoJo unlock. And then on the first, I'm going to have to buy blueberry seeds, too. And I guess I'll shoot for trying to get uh, the sprinklers in by cranberry time in the fall. But I am coming up on dinner time, y'all. So I'm going to get this field watered and then sleep just to see how much gold I make from those strawberries. And then we'll, that will also give me a save point. And then I'll just save it right there. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a DD2 stream is the plan right now. So it'll probably be a day or two until I get back into this one. But I'll try to resist the temptation and not get uh, too far ahead or anything. All right, let's see what we got. Animal products worth more, crops worth more. Well, for right now, let's go crops worth more. Oh, yeah. 9,000. So that'll be 27,000 uh, through the first spring just off of those strawberries. And it looks like we got a rain day. Very, very nice. Uh, anyway, y'all, that is going to get it for me for tonight, though. I'm going to go have a little dinner, and like I said, I'm going to try to get a webcam uh, dialed in and set up and squared away tonight. Uh, no promises on that, but I'm going to do my best. It depends on if that Amazon order got here today, which we'll find out. But anyway, thanks a ton for hanging out, y'all. I'm looking forward to diving deeper into this one and seeing exactly how long it will take to get to perfection with the Joja route. But thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy, y'all.